Mongolia and the Desert Rose Shelter. We're going to show you today a day in the life of our girls at Desert Rose. Humbeno. Oh, Humbeno. <laughs> First, I want to introduce you to Amra. Amra is our manager, and she's going to tell you a little bit about um, our shelter and what we do here. Okay? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Desert Rose Shelter. Blessings from Sulin Sarne, a desert rose shelter. This is our our hasha or our property, the shed where we keep our coal for the winter. And this is our toilet. We can have ten girls stay at our shelter at one time. These are the teachers from Desert Rose. Today in Mongolia, there's many children, and we can't help all of them, older girls that have no home. There's no one, there's no helpers, there's no one to help them. We don't have the capacity right now to take more children. We have this transitional home, but again, we'd like to have an overnight shelter. Three years ago, for three months, we went out to the countryside. We had girls who wanted to make a change. We had girls who wanted to get off the street. They didn't want to come to the shelter just at nighttime, but they really wanted a change. And so all of us, while we were in the countryside, we prayed that God would provide a home for us, a place where they could actually live. This is um, Sarah. She's making the fire to heat the building. This is one of our teachers, Manjama, and Sumia, one of our girls, and they're making bash, which is a Mongolian traditional dumpling. Sumia came to us three years ago. My life was very difficult before I came to Desert Rose. Three years ago, I asked for help because I was alone on the street with nowhere to go. The police sent me to Desert Rose. Over the past three years, I have graduated from high school, studied at a professional school, and work in my profession. Sumia is now working at a beauty salon as a massage therapist. She's doing really, really well. Bindidia studies in the seventh grade. She's been with Desert Rose for about three months now. We have right now, today, seven kids in the house that you will meet. The other girls are out. One is in college studying nursing. One is doing work, and one of them actually is at the doctor's getting her medical checkup. This is our littlest room. In this little room, our teachers work. It's their working room. And Sarah is sewing the girls' blankets and sheets. All of our girls plant flowers. The name of our organization is Desert Rose, and the girls relate that name to flowers growing, and they're like just starting out again. They're like little plants, and they're going to grow to be beautiful flowers. This room has three girls that live there. Today only Adza is in. Adza came to live with us uh, three years ago. She's mute because of um, the abuse she suffered as a child. And since she's been with us, she's been able to speak a few words. She has found a place where she's loved and she's learning a few skills. This room we have two girls living and they are in school right now. They see their mom occasionally. This is Munkush and Hangro, their sisters. Their friend Anajin came to visit. They've been with us for eight months. They see their mother occasionally. She's in a rehabilitation center. Okay, everyone, let's go and have a meal together. So there's one girl who's in charge every day. They rotate that uh, one person who will do the cooking, and they live in community that way. They really try to make Desert Rose Transitional Home like a home, like a family. We 
hope you enjoyed your tour of Desert Rose. Just want to thank you. And, um, I hope that you now have a really good idea about what we do here and the people that we've helped and we do it because you enable us to do it. And I thank you so much. And as they just said to you, God bless you and thank you.